Hello everybody and welcome back to Dinkum where apparently I have been jumping on my bed today. Uh, <laughs> and um, I cannot wait to try and pay down the the town debt once John gets back in his shop. Get in your shop, John. I'm going to have a quick look and just make sure... Oh, Melvin is here today as well, so we're going to try and... Uh, have a, a little chat with him, see, what he, see if he wants anything today. Like, I think we'll keep those tins. I think um, we will probably sell everything else. Yeah, I think everything else I put uh, I put away recently. Okay, so the other thing that I think I want to do here is um, I think probably want to just dig out to the side there and what I'm then gonna want to do is uh, put some you know how my house right is all like weird and the grass hasn't grown under it properly I want to put some grass under here before I put down any kind of shops so while we're prepping this area while we're waiting for John's shop to open because obviously the first thing I'm gonna do once to pay the debt off is take on more debt right <laughs> because that's what you do right uh... We'll also feed the chickens and water the plants. And there's Kwandong seeds. Hurrah. Or Kwandong fruits, even. I'm not going to use them as seeds this time. I am going to harvest them. And I'm going to take them. And I'm going to mix stuff out of them. And I'm going to hopefully make pavlova out of them. And it will be awesome. But yeah, going to be doing quite a lot of like terraforming and like um, grabbing grass seed and things like that today. So I hope you like that sort of thing. Because it's all kind of part of this game. Uh, so do I have a scythe is the next thing. Mm, seemingly not. Do I have a scythe? Can I? Oh, I can make a scythe. Uh, palm wood, plank and timber. Do I have palm wood, plank and timber? But I think the only things you can buy from John are like the fishing rod, the shovel axe and something else shovel axe and pickaxe and then everything else is made so um, yeah we've got tin I've got yeah one palm wood as well nice okay so let's make a scythe Boop. nice so I will take my scythe and we will go and get some nice grass seeds today so today, some days are about making lots of money in this game, right? And some days are about pure, like, aesthetics and, and getting shops ready and, and making the town pretty. So that's kind of what today's going to be about, just in case you wondered. Right, so I've still got my fairy bread. I wonder how much fairy bread sells for. Uh, is John's shop open now? I'm going to go and pick up my... Hello, emu. Yes, it is. Right, let's see how much this is going to go for. A nice amber chunk there. Looks like it weighs 2.01 kilos. How does 30,000 sound for it? That sounds wonderful, actually. So, that should get us to about 50... Yeah, 57. Lovely. So, let's sell all the rest of the stuff and see how much I get for that. And then see how much I need to make up after that, I guess. So, actually, I'm going to sell the fairy brown soon because I want to know how much it sells for. 2,500 for fairy bread. Food is actually really good. Especially the processed foods. Cooked cactus fig. Old gears. Okay, that's um... I don't want to sell my cactus fig, but I do want to sell my old gears. My springs, my ear hats. My meat pie, probably. Mmm... That butterfly, those light bulbs, that old toy thing, game controller or something. That because it's just in the way. Oh, let's see, let's see. 21,000, okay, that gets us to what, 81? Oh, we can definitely do this today, 100%. Right, so... I need like 4,000 more. What have we got in this inventory that I could sell for 4,000? I could sell eggs. 
No, let's see how much. I could sell some of my clothes as well. Sell goods. Uh, I'm going to sell these eggs and see if that brings us to enough. Three thousand six hundred. Is that enough? Eighty-five to something. Well, let's go and see. I think it was. I think it was under eighty-five. I don't think it was over eighty-five. Eighty-four, one, four, four. Yeah, so I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Yay! Eighty-four, one, four, four. Comfort. Down is now debt free. Thank you for your contribution. So I think we might now have a choice. I'm pretty sure Rain and Erwin have both offered to move in. Hello there, Sheila. What can I do for you? Uh, I would like to talk about the town. What can I help you with? Can I see the deeds? Here are our current deeds. So plant or animal. Now the plant shop would allow me to maybe buy things like tomatoes and onions and all these things that I've not been able to buy throughout the year. However, we are on like the 23rd day of autumn and I don't know how the winter is. So it might be that it's not much good until winter anyway. Um, the animal shop would allow me to get different kinds of animals and would allow me to buy feed for the animals I've already got so that I can ramp up production with them so I can have a lot more chickens and a lot more animals and things so it's a it's a real toughie a real toughie but that's, that's 150,000 and that's 200,000 so if I could get together the 150,000 fairly quickly I could have both shops and be 200,000 in debt that might be the way forward <laughs> I haven't changed my mind. I want the animal shop. Yeah, Sheila, what can I do for you? Well, let's talk about the town. Sorry, I, I, I... Okay, animal shop deed. We have decided. We'll put the town 150,000 in debt. Yep, I know. Don't worry, we'll pay it off in no time. There's a donation box here in the base tent, so we're going to apply for the animal shop deed. Let's do it. Great. We're all set. I'll give you the deed so you can decide where to place it. Once it's placed, check the deposit box. Uh, we won't be able to start construction until we have all the required materials. The quicker we have everything we need, the quicker we can start construction. So we're going to work on uh, pretty much getting the area where I'm going to put it down nice. I just want to see quickly how big it is and where I'm going to put it. So let's just um, pop it down. Right, so if I put it like there, for example. Oh, it needs to be rotated. Hang on. If I put it there, for example, I'm going to, so I'm going to need a little bit of grass to the side there, in the middle, in front of it. Okay, so definitely need more grass seeds. But we've got a a big enough area for it to sit in here I think that'll that'll look fine that'll look nice and then I'm going to um, probably get rid of this little chunk of dirt along here and we'll have a double wide road and it will all look quite nice and spacious hopefully that's the idea anyway and then probably I will dig out um, this area here to put the next shop uh, or two and then I'll try and space them out nicely not that I know how big they're going to be so we might that might be where we have to move buildings so they might just be a little bit off and also I'll probably at some point move my house somewhere else so that the grass can recover under there even if I do move it back to there at least it will the, the grass will have been sorted okay so talking about grass let's go get some there's like loads over here so let's go keeping right click down while i work so that i instantly pick up the grass seeds as we go should do anyway
We only really need about 10, 12 different uh, grass seeds going. I sometimes wonder whether I should get this kind of grass, but it's not as easy to find as the other, as the yellower kind. So maybe we just have a lot of yellow grass around the place. I don't mind it too much. I think it looks all right. I mean, it's meant to be Australia after all, not Britain. You know, Britain has grass that looks like this. <laughs> like green, green, green grass. Oh, I used them all up. Ah. Need more. I need more. More. And then once I've got it all nicely sorted out for grass, then we will start looking at what I need to make it. Uh, ideally, if I could get all of the construction materials in today or at least tomorrow, I'll be very happy. All right, that's eight grass seeds. That should be enough to finish it off. So eventually the museum will probably have to be either moved or I'll have to put up with the idea that the, the grass is slightly... Uh, it is not completely around it. It won't be a, a, a grassy looking area necessarily. I don't know whether I need two or three more grassy to go up there. I don't think I do though. So let's let's pop it down. Oh no, I do. Ah. Oh, my life. But better to have it right now. Rather than have problems in the future with it. Okay, that should be enough. Well, got to work off good foundations, right? Okay, that should do it. And about there is perfect. Why is someone in the way? Is it me? Am I in the way? Maybe I should stand back here. There, perfect. It's got a little bit of grass in front. That'll be beautiful. Just around the corner from the museum. Gonna make that into maybe like a nice park. I might put a nice fountain on there or something and make it and decorate it a bit so that John's shop doesn't look like it's squidged into another shop. I don't like that idea at all. Right, so the next thing to do is have a look and see what we need to finish it off. Building materials are required. Should I place building materials inside? Yes, place items. So we need cement, tin, and nails. We need 15, gum wood, 15, palm. Okay. Sorry, 10 palm. Let's see what I've got. So we've got gum logs. I've got cement. Uh, probably in here I'll have tin. I should go and see Melvin today as well. Not that Melvin is as important to get moved in as uh, Rain and Erwin. I really wanted to work on those two particularly because animals and plants and, and farming are important to me more so than furniture and clothes and stuff. Those are nice to have. Definitely. So building materials are required. Let's place items. Let's place tin and cement. So then we just need wood, nails, and copper. So do I have any copper? I have loads, actually. Wonderful. I really could do with getting extra, um, extra furnaces. Extra furnaces, extra storage, all that sort of thing. But I'm terrible and I don't do these things. Oh, I probably need to water crops. Let's get my watering can filled. Probably need to feed the chooks as well. 
Let's go and talk to Melvin, just see if there's any anything we can do. I want to chat. You want to chat about and need anything? That would be far too much trouble today. I will wait until you have... Because, as I say, you're not an important person to, to get moved in. I will wait until you next time and you have something a bit easier for me to do. It's about time management. At the moment, I'm working on something uh, that, to me, is more important. Let's see. Ah, what am I doing that for? What I need to be doing is getting these gum logs turned into planks. Then I need to take my axe and chop down a whole bunch of palm trees. So that's 12 of them. I'm hoping that I had, I think I saw that I had another three somewhere. Is it in here? Uh, right, yeah, that's 15 of them. So I now need uh, 10 palm woods. That's three uh, copper. So we'll burn one more. Where is my axe? So I only need 10, so I think I usually get like three or four, yeah, like four from each tree. So I should only need to chop down about three of them, but I do want to eventually clear this whole area anyway, so chopping down the trees is quite useful. I think that's something like eight. I could plant the palm tree seeds, but I uh, can't be bothered. There should be plenty of palm trees around the place if I go searching, so... Whereas fruit trees are much more... It's much more convenient for me to have them around. Okay, so let's uh, put the planks... ...in there. So then it's just uh, nails, copper bar, and the palm wood planks. So, oh no, I hate it when I do that. Grr. Right, so. It's because y you play all these different games, and a lot of games E is interact, but this one E is pick up. So it's like you play any kind of different game, come back to this one, and then suddenly you're picking things up all over the place. Uh, what was I looking for? I can't remember. What was I looking for? Nails, that was it. Nails. Uh, so nails are... Apparently nowhere to be found. So tin bar will make eight of them, so I need two tin bars. Ah! It said E to pick up, and I was like, oh, well, I'll pick up that tin, that copper bar by doing that, shall I? No. That was a dumb thing to do. Having a good day today, aren't I? There we are. I was just in slightly the wrong place. Right, so I've got enough copper bars now. I've got my palm wood. I'm looking for tin, which I have as well, to make nails. One, two. And put the palm wood through the sawmill. An extra sawmill might be good because then I could go like that. I could do could be double as fast. So 
So the idea is that to do like three of the easiest tasks I possibly can for each of these residents, each of these visitors, um, and because it takes me so long to get their, their places ready anyway, probably by the time I've paid off the debt for this and all the other stuff, there'll be someone else ready to move in. If not, then I'll just save, I'll just work on paying the town's debt so that when they do move in, um, I'm ready immediately. Um, if I get past that point, I'll just save up so that I can immediately pay the debt after they come to move in. So, yeah, it's all good. Um, so, we have the palm wood planks, the nails, and the copper. All the required construction materials have been deposited. Construction can begin tomorrow. So, that'll be this episode. And then tomorrow, um, they'll be building. Did I water my plants? Of course I didn't. And then next episode, we will have the animal shop. And that'll be super wonderful. But it's a... Uh, getting a bit late now it's getting it gets dark so early in australia doesn't it i think if it's a place in australia that's um a little bit closer to the well it's not really that close to the equator is it so i don't know why we've always got the six o'clock sundown that's more like um sort of equatorial africa you go there and and all of a sudden like it's really weird coming from britain where in the summer it's like 10 o'clock and in the winter, it's like four o'clock sundowns. It is very different. Feed the animals as well. I do want to change this fencing out to something a bit smarter as well. Definitely, and maybe put like a little bit of, a little bit of stairs in there, a bit of a nicer path. Got loads of plans, but I don't know how far I'll manage to, to go with them. Main thing is getting these shops built. So once this is built, we want to go probably up to about, or maybe up to about here, maybe a bit further along. Um, to put some more shops in. I mean, what I might do is put a, a pathway down here and then I could just put like a nice garden or maybe even put some chickens or something right next to Owen's shop. I think he'd like that. I think he'd like having chickens next to his shop. So that might be a thing I'll do just to sort of make it a bit more decorated and make it so that it looks a bit more lived in. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm, I'm shattered apparently. Sleep until tomorrow. I think we did a good job today. I've got some good foraging. Uh, that, that's all the grass. We made 57,000 dinks in one day. Just off bits and pieces that I found in the ground. Plus my amber. So, yeah. I, I sometimes feel that that's a better way to make money than going down the mines where it can be a little bit like dicey as to whether you'll make the money or not. Okay, so... Oh, it's looking cool. That's going to be a nicely shaped building. I like it. I like it a lot. And the grass will be beautiful underneath it as well. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got this massive debt now to pay off. So I think um, I'll get my... It looks like my chooks still got their food. So I'll get my, my crops watered. It's a good thing to start the day with. Uh, then I might look at, at possibly getting a well. I don't know if I can fill a watering can from a well, but if I can, that might be a really nice thing to have, sort of somewhere around the side of my house, or just, maybe just in here actually. Just somewhere, or, or, or like over here, or I don't know, but somewhere, and then maybe, maybe, just maybe, possibly, I won't have to run all the way over there to fill my watering can up. I am living the farming life right now and loving it. But if I could get that 150,000 paid off pretty fast, 
And we can get Rain moved in here as well, which would be amazing. I want her moved in in the next few episodes, I think. And I think her shop is going to go here. So I think I'm going to give um, Erwin like a bit of a garden to either side. And then Rain can go in here. And she, she might have a garden behind her place or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll make it pretty. Whatever I do. Promise. So do I do terraforming or do I go... I think I need to go metal detecting and, and finding... Maybe finding pearls. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do right now. To make money. But I need to do something, don't I? Clearly. Let's put some of these things away. So that my inventory is a bit clearer. For just in case. Um, I might cook these cactus figs. On the barbie. They're quite useful for eating. Um, those tin sheets need to go away. Those slingshots. I, I don't think I'm going to use a slingshot. There's grass seeds there and billy buttons. They probably won't use either. Are the limes done yet? No, they aren't. So, we are waiting, I think, on limes to make more fruit salads. No, we're not. Okay. Well, we can definitely make a few. And my big eggs. And I've got my sugar. So, we could see how much a pavlova goes for. I mean, that looks like it's a hugely cool thing. So, it might go for a lot of money you never know but i need some fruit salads first so let's see how many i can make three by the looks of it okay let's turn those into pavlovas okay so i don't have enough sugar i could make another one once i get some more sugar so Let's get some of this sugar cane. Wherever the sugar cane went that I had. I'm sure I had some. Did I put it somewhere random? Um, I did indeed put it somewhere random. My inventory management is a total state right now. We do have um, cooked giant drumsticks. And prime meat, meat. So things that I could make meat pies out of as well. Have a look what I need for a, minute, a meat pie. Meat pie is meat in a raw drumstick with flour. And I think that's a couple of thousand. Prime roast. That's so much stuff. I bet that'll go for a fortune, surely. It must do. Right, I want to know how much a pavlova sells for. Or two, I'll go for 13,000. Oh, that's decent. Sounds good to me. Well, that's a tenth of the way now to our to our goal. <laughs> Got a spare fruit salad there. I'll just pop that back in the chest because once the uh, once the sugar's finished, I'll uh, I'll make some more of that. Ugh. Running out of space. Put the gum nuts in here. I think I need, um, like, a seed chest. Grass seed, obviously. I'm just going to, like, place it down whenever, whenever I have it, basically. If I have grass seed, I will put it down somewhere.
We are slowly going to make this a green and pleasant land. Okay, so how else am I going to make some money then? Well, one thing I could do is check the quest board. Better than a raw drumstick. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> Alpha Croco. 27,000. Is that worth it? I don't know. We can try. I don't think Croco's are too awful, but I don't know about an Alpha one. <laughs> so... This could be terrible times. I don't have any food with me either. Probably should at least take some drumsticks or something. Because <laughs> I don't think there's any healing on cooked cactus figs, so I think I need something a little bit more um, substantial. Let's put it that way. We've got the sugar together now, so I can make another pavlova uh, a bit later on. Fruit salad is actually very good for the healing. So are bush limes. My problem is I want to sell everything. Drumsticks are kind of good. Right, so where's this Alpha Croco on the map then? Oh, are you kidding me? It's all the way down there. Ugh. Well, me and my spear, I'm gonna go and try. I'm woefully underprepared, but... I can always run away and harvest all the bush limes on the way that I can because <laughs> they do give me a tiny bit of health. Whee. How far away is it? Oh, so far away. I really don't want to be crossing like tons of water, so let's just run down here. If I can kill it, then that's like another like nearly thirty thousand towards my debt. And then I can like I can then um, metal detect my whole way back. I want to run down here quickly because if I die, then I want to know that I'm going to die. Because I think then you have to like, I don't know, restart the day. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Can't remember what happens when you die anymore. Right, so he's around here somewhere. Probably shouldn't be swimming right now. I want to fight him on land if possible. And avoiding his jaws and jumping on top of him will be the deal. Alright, here he comes. I don't know if he's got like a... Um... I'm not coming in the water, so you can come here. I don't know if he's got any special attacks or anything, so we're gonna just... Oh, his tail does an attack! Oh, good grief. Okay. Jump! Jump! Shilam, jump! Okay, gonna eat my drumstick. Jump, jump, jump! Away from his tail. That was good. Oh, 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 oh. 
gosh, that hurt. Um, I'm really hurt now. Run! Too full now. I don't think I'm taking him down without proper food. Some nice meat around there, though. Mm. Kind of wish I had my slingshot now because I could maybe have done some. Health is so low. If I get caught by him once more, then that's my, that's me dead. Which makes me really unhappy. So how, how? What do I do? Do I try? Run, 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 run. my bush lime now I can actually what on like a just gotta run away from him lots I think and avoid this front end He's, he's got me. Oh, I knew, I knew it. I knew I was underprepared. <sighs> oh well. Rain is visiting the island today. Well, it's rain that I'm trying to find. <laughs> and look, Owen is here to stay. Wonderful. I think that maybe we won't worry about the the uh, the croc unless we have good food. So that will give me a load of extra health. A meat pie would give me loads of extra health as well. Meat on a stick. I could have just done meat on a stick. Or dagwood dog. No, I couldn't do a dagwood dog actually. Sausage roll? No. Can't do quiche, can't do pasty. I can, yeah, so meat pie. Raw drumstick is needed though. And that, I do have a raw drumstick and some flour actually. So I'm gonna make myself a meat pie. I don't know if the crock is still there actually. Well, I'll have another go. But with a meat pie, I think I can get him. If I have good food. Okay, if I had one more drumstick, I could get another pie. But also, I think I've got the stuff for a pavlova, so I might use the pavlova to... That's another thing that I can use. Alright, so I've got a pavlova and I've got a meat pie. Hopefully that will be enough to help me uh, get him. Oh, my spear is getting really low though. I do have like a copper one as a backup. So I'm going to just put that on my hot bar. I'm also going to obviously check out it's closed. What? When are you open then? Owen's barn open 10 till 6. Closed on a Monday. And it's Wednesday today, but it will be, so it'll be open at 10. Lovely. Ichthyologist. Or getting lots of fish, apparently. 
I should probably feed my animals and water my crops before I go gallivanting, shouldn't I? And if I don't manage to take him out this time, then oh well. But I'm getting better, I think, at, at uh, working out his little idiosyncrasies. I'm also maybe going to take a slingshot. Ooh. Ooh, drumsticks for me. meat in there as well. I've got five cooked giant drumsticks as well, which is good. Maybe I should just do some cassowary hunting as well. Because that's a f at, the, at this point a relatively easy way of getting some money. Nice. Right, so I've got to go all the way down here again now. Nightmare. But I think with some refills, like I had him down to half health. So if I had a full health re refill, then I'd be fine. I just gotta jump out of his way. I don't think he's actually any harder than the uh, some of the other ones that I've fought already and won against. It's just as I say, I t I said I was woefully underprepared when I when I went there the first time, and it was true. <laughs> Crocodile and a porcupine having a fight there. I don't know whether the damage I've done already will persist as well. So whether I'm going to be going against a fully healed croc or whether I'll be going against a half damaged croc. We shall have to see about that. I don't like dying though. It annoys me. Okay, so it's just across here. There is a dog in the water. That's fine. <laughs> a dingo. So, dingoes are fine. Crocodiles and sharks are not. Alright then, crocodile and dilly. Oh no! There's another crocodile I've got to fight first. That's irritating. Um... I want your boss, not you. Where's the boss one gone? There's like three crocodiles here and no boss crocodile. The boss one was like blue. So, did he despawn? Because I sort of dragged him onto the beach a bit, didn't I? Down onto this beach over here. Oh, good grief. Go away, you. Oh, there he is. Right. Okay, come over here. Good grief. Look, look at the damage he's been doing to the local wildlife. Good grief. Come here, Croco. Stealing all your meat and bones. Gone. Don't like not being able to see him. Oh, he's back with all his buddies. Don't like that at all. Oh, he's fighting them all. <laughs> well, okay, that's why he was on his own before. 
All right, here we go. Oh yeah, he's half health. If I can do this without. Ow! 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 I got a good few hits in them, uh, like in return for the damage I took there. Run! Oh! No! Not again! <laughs> I hate my life. That sucks so much. I nearly had him and I had the food there. I should have just eaten it, but like I couldn't get away from him. Oh no. Right, one more try. I don't care at this point. I'm just going to run and get him. My spear's nearly out. I'm losing days to this. Literally days to it. I don't care. I'm like, this, this crocodile's going down now. He's nearly dead, so I should have him today. Oh no! His friend! He's laying in ambush. He's setting traps for me now because he knows he's he knows he's done for. <laughs> oh, Alpha Croc. Oh no, another trap. Ah, ah, quick, quick, swim, 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 get out of the water, get out of the water. Go, 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 go. Also, why am I like having to swim through so many lakes? Oh, I didn't. Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna follow me in the water. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, cool. I didn't go round them last time I came down here. I just went round them all. Then goes to having a nice snack over there. Oh, I feel like I'm going the stupidest way I could possibly have gone. Okay, so we're nearly there now. <laughs> I will not give up. This this croc is going down. He's embarrassed me twice now. Yeah, with that second, that the first time was okay. Like it was like I wasn't too prepared and it was fine. Um, the second death was really annoying because, as I say, I just got kind of stuck on him. I was trying to, to jump away so I could go and eat and it just wasn't happening. I was just getting more stuck on his rocks and stuff, so. Oh, he's back to full health? What? That didn't happen last time. I don't get that. That's super annoying and I'm already down to like half health and my spear's gone. Oh, I hate my life. That is so annoying. Because now I don't have like decent um, weapons at all. I've got nothing I can fight him with. Oh no, oh no, that's like steam overlay. Ah. What can I fight him with? Nothing. All my axes are nearly broken. Pickaxes are nearly broken. I'm gonna eat my meat pie. And I'm gonna like hit him with everything I've got. Oh, that broke too. Lovely. Whoa, no, get away, get away, get away. In you go. I'm nearly dead already. Good grief. Do I eat the Pablo over or do I cut my losses and run back? I think I cut my losses and run back. I am so irritated by that.
Oh, he's following me. No, don't follow me. <laughs> follow me all the way back to my house, which actually might be better. <laughs> Ooh, unusual those. But yeah, that was so irritating because I had such a, a nice weapon to to stab at him with and I've just totally messed it up. But my goodness, the meat pie. Wow, look what I did to my health. That's amazing. I don't know where my house is now. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I totally am. To Ow! Okay, well, guys. I feel like that's the end of the episode. <laughs> I think um, we're maybe gonna just leave the crocodile alone. Someone new is visiting the island, so we will find out who that is the next time. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was super embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to witness that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode all the same. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. Next time we will go and, I promise, explore Owen's new shop. And uh, we'll see who's new on the island. And I will probably just go buy myself a new metal detector, buy myself some new tools, get myself some new weapons. And then if that crocodile quest is still around, I will prepare properly and I will go and try and take him down. But uh, if it's disappeared, then I'll just say, okay, it wasn't meant to be. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.